to make a report on the clicks that you're getting from your different email sequences in HubSpot, we're going to make a custom report right here. And as the primary data source, we have to make sure we select sequences here or else we don't have everything that we need. And then the other data source we want is our contacts and we're going to hit next. And then in my properties here, I'm going to search for email. If we want to report by the individual's email address, I'm going to look for the name of the sequence right here, sequence name. I'm going to put that in my breakdown by, and then there's a sequence clicks right here, number of clicks for the sequence. If I put that here, I'm going to see across the board the total number of clicks because this is a sum. Let's change this to distinct count. This will be per person then. We're going to see you know, each individual, how many times did they click on a specific sequence? So yeah, you can see these are people who clicked it twice, these are people who clicked it once. If you wanted to do this for just one particular sequence, you could come over here to your filters. Looks like we're only using the last 31 days, so you could expand that and see different time. You can also come here to the sequence name and let's say, you know, this is only equal to next year. I can add that value and hit apply. And now I'm going to filter this report down. And let's see what this looks like as it refreshes. There you go, just one person. So pretty cool. Thanks so much for the question. Enjoy.